Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Navigate on Autopilot beta features that were just pushed out to Tesla Model 3 owners running the latest version 9 2019.8.5 software update. Now essentially what this does is it expands upon Tesla's pre-existing Navigate on Autopilot features. For those of you who don't know, you just put in an address or a destination into your GPS and you enable Navigate on Autopilot, or at least you had to previously with this latest update. As you'll see, you can have it automatically enabled by default. And basically what the car will do is it will automatically suggest lane changes and even take the off-ramp for you. Now, however, you no longer have to confirm that you are taking the lane change by putting on a turn signal. It will just automatically initiate it so long as it does detect that you have your hand on the steering wheel. Hopefully that will be removed at some point in the future and you don't actually even have to have your hand on the steering wheel, but for now it is a matter of safety. Now, if you want to purchase a Tesla vehicle and get 1000 miles of free supercharging, just be sure to visit getsupercharging.com. It literally couldn't be any easier, just getsupercharging.com. That link will also be down down below in the description, the very first one, as soon as you visit it, you can configure your 3S or X with 1000 miles of free supercharging preloaded and included after visiting that URL. So let's jump straight into this video first by checking out the release notes. It brings us to the latest changes inside of this update. And you can see here for Navigate on Autopilot beta, it says that Navigate on Autopilot can now make lane changes without requiring the driver to confirm the suggested lane change. To turn off lane change confirmations, go to Controls, Autopilot, Customize Navigate on Autopilot, and then of course, require lane change confirmation and set it to no. Now there are also some other settings for Navigate on Autopilot beta and some caveats that we're going to get into to in this video. So let's go ahead and hop onto the freeway, input a destination, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All right, so while we're waiting to get on the freeway here, I'm just going to bring up the autopilot settings. We're going to go to customize, navigate on autopilot, and you can see here that I do have some of these things enabled. So I have enable at the start of every trip. So as soon as I start navigating somewhere, it will immediately bring us into navigate on autopilot. So that's what we want. We also also have um, speed-based lane changes set to Mad Max, so it's going to make some of these more aggressive and faster lane changes. Um, I've noticed still though that it's pretty benign for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe they're going to upgrade that in the future once um, the confidence level of Navigate on Autopilot and Autopilot in general is boosted. And then um, we also have require lane change confirmation set to no. So this is the key thing for this video, obviously. We don't wanna have that confirmation. One thing to note, however, is that in spite of this, you do have to have your hand on the steering wheel for it to make the lane change. And then we do have lane change notification enabled as well for both vibrate as well as chime. Now, um, after I think mid 2017, if your Model S or X was produced after that point, you will have the ability to have that vibrate on the steering wheel itself for that lane change confirmation, which is kind of a cool feature. And obviously all Model 3s do have that feature as well. All right, so we're on the freeway right now, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. We don't have autopilot enabled right now, just because I wanna show you that as soon as you input something into the GPS, it will automatically bring up navigate on autopilot based on the settings that we went over previously. So because we have it set for every trip, even though I'm not technically driving on autopilot right now, navigate on autopilot will be activated so that once autopilot itself is activated, then of course you don't have to do anything extra. You don't have to tap navigate on autopilot as you previously would. So there are two different scenarios. You can either A, already be driving with autopilot enabled and it will automatically throw on navigate on autopilot, or B, you can just be driving manually like I am right here. And then of course, as soon as you um, throw in that address, it will turn on navigate on autopilot and you'll be good to go already. So let's go ahead and put in an address. Drive to Whole Foods. And I apologize. 
apologize for that semi-awkward pause, but I've had to film this bit so many times already, it picks up everything I say afterwards. So I'm going to just tap on the Whole Foods right there, and you can see that Navigate on Autopilot is already activated, as indicated by the fact that it is a blue icon there. So now I'm going to have to throw on Autopilot again. I said that that part was manual, but now that autopilot is enabled, you can see that it is suggesting that we change lanes to a faster lane, but it does say apply light force to steering wheel. We do actually have to have our hand on the wheel before it does make that move, as you can see, but once it does, it works flawless. And I also wanted to highlight that if you are pretty close to your destination already, then it's actually not going to take advantage of those speed lane changes. And what I mean by that is if you can go faster in the passing lane than the current lane that you're already in, or if you're stuck in traffic and it's suggesting to go into a slower lane to bypass said traffic, then it's really not going to do that simply because you're close to your destination. So it seems to be pretty intelligent so far, which is actually a really great thing. It knows how close you are to your destination and it will adjust those lane change suggestions accordingly, which in my opinion is just absolutely amazing. So you can see it does think that we are in the fastest possible lane right now, which I agree with that. I mean, if you look ahead, you can see we are in the fastest lane right now. Um, and it does also indicate that an upcoming lane change is going to occur, so it lets you know in advance so it doesn't shock you outside of the fact that it is going to chime and vibrate the steering wheel. Of course, you can turn off those notifications, but you will always see inside of the navigation HUD right here that an upcoming lane change is going to occur. So you can see, of course, it does indicate that we are going to change lanes. It throws on the turn signal, which is another audible warning, and then it moves us into the middle lane because we are, I mean, I guess semi-approaching our exit. We are still a little over a mile away, so it's going to take a second to get there. Um, but it's just trying to ensure that we do not miss our exit. Maybe future updates will actually take this into consideration because I know for a fact I can easily get around all of the other cars in the passing lane and still have more than enough time to actually make my exit. But now it's saying that it's going to put us into the slow lane. We need to get ahead of this semi here. So it did indicate that of course there was a semi blocking the way picked that up with the cameras which was fantastic and of course it did suggest that the lane was not safe to enter until we passed said semi now that it is of course we're in the slow lane we're about to take our exit and uh yeah i mean this is the new navigate on autopilot beta it's pretty simple it works great and um, the notifications are fantastic as well now it does not recognize that I'm holding the steering wheel there, so I did have to jiggle it a little bit, so that was pretty close, but you can see that we are still with autopilot enabled right now, so we have autopilot, and uh, it's doing something pretty funky. Um, it did kind of just try to swerve from lane to lane right there, but now it did successfully get us where we needed to go onto that off ramp and now I can take over. So again, this is not full autonomy yet, nothing of the sort, but it's just one more convenience feature for those who have either the previous enhanced autopilot or now the full self-driving autopilot. So if you were able to purchase the enhanced autopilot, you will have these features. Um, if you go to purchase a new Tesla vehicle right now, you're not going to have them unfortunately uh, because that is now a part of the full self self-driving package but that's how it works i really hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to see more new tesla features demoed here on the channel and of course don't forget if you want 1000 free supercharger miles when you purchase your tesla just be sure to actually do so through the url getsupercharging.com. It's super easy, getsupercharging.com. You can configure either a 3S or X and receive 1,000 miles of free supercharging. So make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity. Get your free supercharging at getsupercharging.com. Again, leave a like if you appreciated this video. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.
guys. I hope you're all stoked to check out some of the latest and greatest brand new Cydia tweaks that have just been released within the past few weeks. I'm going to show you guys 30 of my favorite tweaks that have been released recently. Again, all of the tweaks and sources can be found on our Best Tech Info article located down below in this video's description. All right, so first up, we have the Maple Beta, which brings the air power charging animation to the iPhone whenever it's plugged in. All right, so next up, we have Shuffle, which basically reorganizes the settings app. As you guys can see, we have tweaks right there so we can jump into the tweak settings. All right, so next up, we have quite a few music tweaks to talk about. This one called Mashuda Infinity basically updates Mashuda for iOS 12. So you can have this awesome music visualizer in Spotify. It's also, I guess, not in the control center, but on the home screen as well. And this right here brings me to a few other tweaks I wanted to share with you guys. So this one called Up Next 2 basically lets you see the song that's coming up next. And you can actually click this X right here to pick and choose which song you want to play next. So if I click on that, then as you guys can see, it changes to that song. If I don't want to listen to some of these songs coming up next, uh, let's say I want to listen to some Drake now. As you guys can see, now it goes to Drake. An awesome tweak. I love how it's merged with the music widget on the lock screen. That looks super cool. So let's go ahead and uh, head back to the home screen right here. Um, if you guys don't know, I had Spotify on my dock, but this tweak right here called Music Artwork basically takes the music artwork of the currently playing song and puts it as the icon for either Spotify or Apple Music, whatever music service you're using. So I thought that one was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. And again, when you're on the lock screen right here, if you have music playing, this tweak called No Idle Timer basically disables the lock screen auto locking. So your screen will no longer shut off when you have music playing in the background. So if you guys have seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I typically have a lot of icons on my home screen and I always have the icon labels hidden. Well, this new tweak right here called Shy Labels actually makes the labels appear when you're scrolling. So as you guys can see, the labels are now up on screen, but they then fade away once I'm done scrolling after a couple of seconds. So if I zoom out a little bit, I'll show you guys what this looks like in full screen. I can see all of my icon labels real quickly at a glance when I'm scrolling, but then they fade away and make it look really nice when I'm not using them. So this tweet called Sonos 12 places the volume HUD behind the time. And as you guys can see, the animation is super nice. The time fades away, the volume HUD comes up. And then when the volume HUD is dismissed, the time comes right back. 